All right, so I'm going to take another little walk today and uh, talk about why so many people are coming down with really bad illnesses like the flu and uh, really bad respiratory problems. Now today, it's the first day in a very long time that they didn't spray a super heavy, at least in the sky, or, or from above I should say, uh, with the chemtrails. And so, yeah, it's like pretty nice blue sky today. Hello. Uh, but normally, boy, lately here they have been just spraying us really, really bad. And I know several people uh, within my sphere that have uh, become sick. And a lot of them with respiratory things. Now, one of my customers just yesterday said that she was going to a funeral and it was of a young girl. Um, close by, died from the flu or something. And it was, uh, she was really young. I guess she was saying she was in the papers and everything. I have another friend who I grew up with. And her husband has had, um, lung cancer and <laughs> just had all kinds of stuff uh, happen. It seems like every time I go to Bible study and we have prayer requests there's a, a new request for you know somebody somebody new that has cancer or has come down with some sort of illness and it's not uh, it's no longer just a once in a while thing. I mean, this is like all the time. And uh, it, so recently here in Southern California, um, they ended the longest consecutively running burn ban. Um, and that was where people couldn't burn trash in their backyards or whatever and they were saying that uh, the reason for this was because uh, there was this phenomenon known as atmospheric inversion where the uh, particulate matter was particularly high in the atmosphere and this stuff would get trapped like it wouldn't go out and so we needed a rain to come and wash that out you know um, and anyway I'm, I'm hearing these stories on the radio and even <laughs> when I go to I don't really watch the television news uh so much except for you know i watch youtube and i have netflix but i don't watch it as all, all that often i i pretty much just if i'm going to watch the a screen it's going to be youtube for the most part or vimeo or whatever other thing rarely you know it's kind of sucks with the whole uh sensor issue and all that going on with YouTube because a lot of content has been censored and is being censored. Um, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, 
So they're not making the connection between atmospheric inversion and the geoengineering that's been taking place overhead every day. I mean, today, apparently they didn't do it. Although, I know they do it off of the ships, too, out in the ocean. And uh, anyway, but overhead today, they weren't doing it.